Okay, this one is a montage of Congresswoman Susan Davis's assistant, Michael McLaughlin. It speaks about Bank of America, and it also speaks about Navy Federal. Hi, this is Mike from Congresswoman Davis's. I'm just calling you back. Hi, Mike. Just call me in. May not be recorded real quick, just so we know. Yes. Um, I've had a drastic change. I don't know if you got that from my message. Uh, Navy Federal is doing the same thing. Can you use your political muscle? I've never been late on a payment. Bank of America is on TV no, no, known for shredding documents and falsifying signatures. I told them, I'll sign a note stating that they can take my mortgage payment if they give me this loan. Why wouldn't I be able to make a mortgage payment if it's $1,400 less than what I'm paying now? And why can't we get it out of Bank of America's hands and put it in Navy Federal's, which is hopefully a normal loan? They've always been up front. All right, so Bank of America is where you took the mortgage out. You know, I don't know anything about. I didn't. I started the Countrywide. All right, right. Bank of America bought Countrywide. That wasn't my choice. Just like Bank of America shredding 4,000 documents per day for customer, for employee. That wasn't right. my choice. Um, what I was going to call you back on uh, yes. what we talked about yesterday, which is that I got your fax, but I called the Bank of America. I spent a lot of time on the phone with them today. Um, basically, what you're going to receive is a cut, it's called a customer decline letter, okay. which basically says that the customer is not interested Wonderful. in going through the modification process. You're the best. You pay your mortgage payments as you were paying them on the day that they were given the amount that they were due. Perfect. You're the best. Um, do you think we could swing your political clout towards... Okay, I'm sorry, I was goofing around. Um, Mike just said in response to him getting me a letter, that was his answer days later, after he left me with the feeling that I had been lied to for several days. But he did get back to me, because he only response, he gave me information from Bank of America. Bank of America is still calling the shots. That I might expect something in the mail. And to this day, almost a year later, I don't think I ever received it. Navy Federal? And just say, I mean, because what I asked the woman to do, she did all my numbers, she said my debt to income ratio is too high. I've been paying this for 10 years. I said, when they have a board that decides, can I get in front of them and just explain? I believe in paying my bills because of the way Bank of America is. They're forcing me to write off my second, which I can do, and my credit card. The big bank is forcing me to roll over on Navy Federal. Whereas if Navy Federal would take my loan, they would have a positive cash flow. It's guaranteed income. It's never going to change. It may only go up. Why can't a bank, with that kind of good chance of getting paid, go out on a limb a little bit? I lowered my credit card limit from 60000 to 30000 I'm trying to be responsible. I'm trying to salvage my FICA score, which was my whole battle with Bank of America, because they're into it to slam your credit and drop it into the dirt. Okay. And they're doing that to so many people. And they're on TV saying, oh, we're shredding documents and falsifying them. Where is the federal government and why haven't they stepped up for the people is my question. I have a loan in front of me. They said they could save me like $1,400 again. And then the woman the next day was so unhelpful. Maybe so. No, nope, your debt to income is too high. Sorry. Talk to you later it was her, the way she portrayed herself. And I went to her boss, and I started taping them as well. I want to pay. Yes, I'm sorry. So the Bank of America, he offered you a lower payment to you, though, right? And you didn't want. No. I spent two days trying to get an answer on what I have in front of me and what this is all about. Because to this day, every time I call back, I get a different answer. It's an adjustable rate up to year 10 at least, allegedly. No, not even allegedly. That's what they told me. So, I'm sorry? Yes, no. But I asked them, after the trial period, can my interest rate be higher than 6.25 when it's fixed? One person said adamantly, no. The next person said yes. Who do I believe? Bank of America does not put anything in writing. How can I have a professional business working relationship with a huge company that keeps the customer in the dark? Bank of America and Navy Federal now are both pointing the finger at the federal government for these federal guidelines. I need your help, please. Again, I feel like we started over again, but um, I'm still going to... get into this. Okay. I totally understand. I totally understand.
totally understand. Uh, Thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Happy Easter and um, thank you. Okay. Bye. Okay. That was a whole lot of all different kinds of stuff. Congresswoman Susan Davis has been trying to help. Her hands are tied and she has proven herself ineffective because the banks are calling the shots. Or the government is and she's just playing in between. I don't know. I don't get clear communication from anyone. If Navy Federal took my loan, I would have no problem paying a loan that's $1,400 plus. I know you're sick of hearing this. Congress, Mr. President, Mrs. Obama, whoever's listening to this, your banks are a mess, in case you 